What's going on guys? It's your boy Jesse D123 back with another video and today we're going to show you guys the fastest way to complete the sixth inning program. Now as you guys can see on screen the three bosses we got Greg Maddox, Stan Musial and Jimmy Rollins. We're going to get into their stats later but just know if you guys watched the stream yesterday you guys seen their stats and man honestly it's going to be a tough pick. We do not know who we're going to go with. But um, let's get into the fastest way to complete the 6 in program, man. So first of all, like always, you guys have to do your daily missions, man. I kid you not. I cannot stress this enough. Try not to miss a day, man, because if you miss a day, it can hurt you. It really can. But as you guys can see on screen right now, I have this um, daily mission to complete. It gives me two program stars. This one gives me five. So that's seven already. Plus that two, that's nine. Plus this two, that's plus these three, that's 12. So that's 12 program stars right here I could have got. Well, obviously these two, I use them for the last inning program, but these two programs I could get was, what is this, four right now for the sixth inning program, man. So like I said, I cannot stress this enough. You guys have to complete your daily missions, man. They're super important and make sure you get them done every day, man, because every day, I believe at five, they refresh or four. I don't know what it is. I think it's 5 p.m. Pacific time they refresh. So make sure you guys get them done before that. But trust me when I say the daily missions really do count. All right, obviously the next thing we're gonna get into is showdown. Showdown is 70 program stars. This is usually what I like to attack first is showdown just because I like to get it out the way. And honestly, I checked, let's go check the showdown, man. I already checked it, but I wanna show you guys. So this showdown honestly is pretty, pretty easy. Look, the entry fee is only 500 stubs. I believe every entry fee has been a thousand. So they cut it in half. Now we have, what, one, two, three, four, five missions, but look at all the rewards along the way. Stubs, XP, stubs, XP, stubs, XP. We got a show pack, more stubs and more XP. Now we have our first boss. We get a gold player pack. We get some stubs and XP. Um, after that, we have five more missions and we get more stubs XP. Another show pack, stubs XP, stubs XP. Another show pack and stubs XP. And finally, we get a set 34 headliners for completing the boss, man. So, And you get 1,000 stubs and 2,500 uh, XP. So honestly, this showdown, you guys can do this over and over and over and get all these packs and get all these XP and get all these stubs. But once you complete it the first time, you'll get those 70 program stars. But honestly, this showdown, once I complete it, it's probably, it looks pretty easy, man. So once I complete it, I'll probably do it again and again just to get the XP, the stubs, and the free packs, you know. So that's 70 program stars right there. So make sure you guys go take care of showdown. Showdown super important. It's the newest thing in the game, and they're going to keep enforcing the most possible program stars to complete it. So next we got the mission. So we have win 10 games in ranked seasons, win 10, win 10 games in ranked seasons, battle royale or events. Like I say, I always like to say you guys can knock these out at the same time as long as you play strictly ranked seasons. But if that's not the case, make sure you guys you get your 10 games in ranked seasons in throughout this whole inning program. And like, like I said, there's a new event right now. That event is honestly pretty, pretty dope. So you guys will probably take care of the 10 wins for this while playing events. Or if you're a battle royale guy, that might be your way as well, man. So regardless though if you guys play ranked seasons you guys can knock these out both at the same time tally innings with prime players now um we'll get to the what is it the collections later but tally any with prime players so whatever prime players you have just throw them in the line throw them in your lineup if rather if it's events ranked seasons or battle royale that's if you get a draft but ranked seasons or um events just throw your prime players in your lineup so you can get those innings done that's going to be done with over time so that's 15 program stars right there tally saves with breakout blake trying now if you guys didn't check out my fastest way to unlock blake trying go check that out man because it's the fastest way to get him you know <laughs> but once you get that card you're going to come tally saves with blake uh breakout blake trying you guys are going to get 20 program stars for that so that's pretty simple um i'm gonna save going through the rewards last so let's keep going so we got the conquest map the six inning conquest map gives us 30 program stars and honestly man this conquest map looks pretty pretty dope it's gonna take me a while but don't don't worry we're gonna upload a video on that so stay tuned for that but this is the conquest map guys if you guys are curious of what it looks like we got what four strongholds so honestly it shouldn't be too hard but it's kind of funky so but honestly i feel like there's gonna be some juicy rewards and sheesh might even be the best map yet who knows stay tuned <laughs> um some goals along the way we get we get a show pack right here we get a ball and a habit pack and then we, if we conquer all territories we get 10 show packs and that's beside all the juicy um hidden rewards inside the map map so honestly this map is looking so far the best one <laughs> but obviously you complete it you get your 30 program stars that's very important and finally collections now you guys do collect all the bosses you guys will get the 75 program stars if you guys are into that if you guys have enough stubs and funds for that 
Prime Series players will get 20, 20 program stars for collecting seven of them. So these are your options. I mean, some of them, I, I like to collect the no sell ones because some of these players I want to still sell, you know? For example, maybe Fernando Rodney I might sell. For sure, this Dave Kingman I'm going to sell. But um, I'm not going to collect them. But these are the Prime players you guys have. More than likely, you guys have seven already or not close to that. So once you guys get that, collect that, get your 20 program stars. And finally, the Breakout Blake Trinan. Now we get 20 program stars with this guy, so... Go check out my fastest way video to, to get them. Once you guys get them, collect them. 20 program stars and 100 XP. Not bad, right? So that's it for the, I guess you would say the left side. and Everything you have to do just to fa the, for the fastest way to uh, um, complete the 16 program, man. They'll keep adding player programs. You guys get to collect them like Blake Trinan and do a mission for them and get more program stars. So stay tuned for that. But um, without further ado, we're going to get into the juicy rewards for this program. Now, five, uh, five program stars, we get a show pack. At 20, we get a gear up gold uh, pack. 40, we get a universal profile icon, a burger one. That's kind of that's kind of funny. <laughs> at 60, we get a cow moon. Now these stadium sounds I don't really use, man. I I kind of hate when other people use them, especially if there's just one single one that pisses me off. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you guys know, but there's one that it just gets on my nerves when I hear it, and every time I hear it, I want to go ham against that player. At 80 program stars, we get a push slam, unlockable bat slam. Those are always quick sell, so get your stubs there. 100, we get a set six headliners, John Franco. Okay, I didn't know who that was in. 120, we get a set 19 headliners for Rob Dibble. Now, that Rob Dibble, man, if you guys pull them, I highly suggest you guys sell them because he's going for over 100,000 stubs. And honestly, I think that card's really worth selling. But then again, he is a really good card as well. Now, we have a 140, we get the Braves Legends Universal Profile Nameplate that has Tom Gravin, John Smoltz, and um, Greg Maddox in there. That's pretty dope. At 150, we got our three diamond choice pack. Now, honestly, <laughs> your boy's a Dodger fan. We're going to be going Corey Seager, but let's take a look at the other guy. So we got Dennis Martinez. He has a five pitch selection, which is already kind of nice. All right. Um, let's see. 110 stamina. Uh, hits per nine is 89. Strikeouts per nine is 76. Walks per nine is 86. Home runs per nine is 89. Break 96. Velocity 963. See, I'm a guy who likes to pitch with pitchers who have a lot of velocity. So this guy is already probably out my choice, but let alone if you guys do go this way, he's a prime card, so you guys can collect them for that collection. Um, all right, let's get into the man, Corey Seager, man, rookie of the year. So 121 contact against righties, 75 contact against lefties, 89 power against righties, 68 power against lefties, 83 vision, uh, 76 discipline, and 102 clutch. Now, honestly, this card isn't the best. Maybe a good budget, no money spent card, honestly. But um, let alone he's a Dodger player. I'm for sure going to go this route. Probably a lot of people are going to go this route. So 83 fielding, honestly, this diamond defense logo, but that's a gold fielding. So not the best, but I mean, it's a shortstop. How's his arm? 70 arm? Okay. I don't know about this card now, man, as far as who knows, man. Stay tuned for a debut for him because for sure we're going to go him. And finally, we got a breakout card, Monte Irvin. Now, 92 contact against righties, 86 against lefties, 73 against righties, 53 against lefties, 112 vision. Not bad. 74 fielding, 86 arm. Probably a lot of people are not going to go this card. So, honestly, if you guys are looking for stubs, possibly, since a lot of people are probably not going to go this card, this card might rise up in price, let's say, maybe in maybe three to four months. So, if you guys are looking for the long run to invest into a card and sell them, this might be the guy. Um, 160, we get a hot knife through butter home run call. 180, we get two show packs. 200, we get a ball in. 220, get another classic, classic stadium, which is awesome. 240, we get a cricket stadium sound. 260, we get the exclusive Javier Baez El Mago stance socks. That's pretty dope. 280, we get two show packs. And at 300 program stars, you guys already know who we get, man. We get the big bosses now. Man, when I say this choice is going to be so tough. I really mean it, man. So let's take a look into the cards. Greg Maddox, 121 stamina. This man is going to get you seven to nine innings, bro, for sure. Hits per nine, 97. Strikeouts per nine, 93. Walks per nine, 105. Home runs per nine, 95. Velocity, 66. Now, this is where I hate this card, bro. Just because, you, like I said, I like hard throwing pitchers, man. I really do. And this guy cannot do that for me. 97 control. So he's going to be, dude. This man was a master at painting corners, so if this guy, if you guys can get used to this guy pitching, how slow and stuff, and you guys can tag corners and everything, he's going to be amazing, and he might be that guy, man. 99 break, that's going to be filthy for that circle change and that curveball. Bro, look at that curveball. 70 miles per hour? Oh my goodness, hold on. 
a stat a lot of people are not talking about that 97 fielding holy crap that's really really good i mean he's a six series let alone you guys can prestige these cards so don't forget <sighs> all right guys we're gonna see stan musu now <laughs> like i said if you guys check out the stream yesterday you guys know the stats but wow like just ah these stats are so they just blind the eyes that's how good they are max contact against righties and max contact against lefty so that pci because a lot of people are saying vision doesn't have a lot to do with pci this game um it's all about contact so this pci is going to be so fat and ready for you man power versus righties 98 really really good power versus lefties 121 so he's a lefty lefty killer oh okay that's one thing i did not notice vision 118 which is why not right discipline 94 clutch 125 now where he really takes the whole hit is the fielding 72 but thankfully his secondary position is first base so you can always throw him at first base if you guys want obviously like i said you guys can prestige this card so excuse me when you prestige this card he's going to be a 75 fielding you guys can throw him to first base he'll probably be like a 73 72 so he's going to stay above uh what is that bronze or is that silver that's silver fielding so he's going to be pretty decent at first base because more than likely you guys are not going to throw him in right field <laughs> but um let me know down in the comments who you guys are thinking about going so far man because obviously we still have one card left and i'm really leaning towards this card so let's get right into it jimmy rollins the 99 overall signature series switch hitter 95 contact against righties 100 contact against lefties 77 power against righties and lefties vision 107 discipline 91 102 clutch 90 fielding so they gave this man diamond fielding for honestly he deserves it though he was a <laughs> defensive shortstop monster bro 92 arm so that's a sexy arm bro good arm right a boy hey, way to way to go sds for giving him some good stats we got 93 speed 97 steel 97 base running aggression so when you prestige this card that speed is going to go to 96 steel is going to go to 99 and base running aggression is going to go to 99 so this guy is your ultimate lead off batter man like i kid you not and let alone his power is going to be 80 80 across the board so this is why i say man i honestly might go this card i don't know yet though man and let alone he's a switch hitter so he can hit lefties and righties beautifully and honestly man it's gonna be tough but i think we might be going jimmy rollins all right guys so at 350 we get 3,000 stubs 400 we get this wizard universal nameplate 450 a five pack 500 we get another five pack 550 we get a semi-finals pack 600 we get a 4500 stubs 650 we get a ball in 700 we get 4500 xp 750 we get 10 pa 10 packs 800 we get 10 packs 850 we get a um, ball in as a habit bundle and 900 we get a ducks in the pond i wish they'd be i wish they would bless us with an elite ducks in the pond but that's the event 100 wins so honestly i respect that but um these cards honestly they don't go for that much no more they only went uh for a lot when they first dropped but is what it is man we'll take what we can get Overall, I think we're probably going to get to like 600 program stars to get again. That's what we've been averaging. Let's see if we can increase that, but we shall see. But yeah, guys, that was a lot of talking, man. <laughs> that was the fastest way to complete the sixth inning program. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys watched my Blake training video. I hope you guys stay tuned for two more videos dropping today because this is video number two that's going up and we got two more planned for today. So I hope you guys watch all four. Drop a like, drop a sub if you guys have not because... We're on the grind, man. We're on the grind, and we're on the road to 400 subscribers, man. Like I said, once we hit 300, we're excited to hit 400, and we're not going to stop, man. So join now. Become an OG. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy, Jesse D123, and I'm out.